Hey, what's up again, everybody? Robert 184 One Japan continues as I have arrived in my newest prefecture here, Kyoto. And usually, when I think people say Kyoto, what springs to mind is old traditions, old temples, old castles. That is, it is the ancient capital here of Japan. But when you step out, this is just the platform over there that most people are going to be getting off the regular trains, if not the bullet trains. You are going to be stepping into an architectural marvel that absolutely does not fit the city in any way, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that it's cool. It's not cool, I mean. You've got layers upon layers here of escalators, glass, black marble, black metal frames, and all sorts of crazy stuff up there. You can just picture Darth Maul and Qui-Gon just fighting up at the top of those platforms. Why do you have a platform just floating there in the middle of the air? I have no idea, but it's on top of a cafe, and it does look cool. And actually, these escalators and stairways here, they're going to go up 11 stories, as that roof up there is absolutely massive. And at the same time, it is open air, so you still would get cold in here. You can see some more strange Star Wars lightsaber dual platforms over there. So let's go see what we can make of this strange place. Made in 1997, so it's pretty new, and it was designed by a Japanese architect. He beat out some big ones from all around the world. Some of them had some really crazy ideas as well. This one's crazy. Let's just go see how much. And though it's not the most convenient thing, I mean, not hard either. You just go up to the second floor, and you can find the Kyoto Tourist Information Center, and this one is going to be packed. Lots of people, lots of languages, lots of maps, because in Kyoto, well, especially if you arrive in the daytime, there's lots to do. I've arrived early evening, so here's the view from the outside down below. And you can just see that it's going to go on and on and on up there. Department stores, restaurant rows, but this part here is just going to be that big empty glass with the metal frame there on the inside. There's the rest of the shopping mall proper that's just going to be climbing up over there. And if you do step out, you are going to see a beautiful sight. Yes, well, it could be that Yodobashi camera that's back there straight on, but it's also right here. The Kyoto Tower Hotel is not a very large tower compared to some of the other ones around Japan, but it's lit up quite nicely, and I would have loved to have gone up there today, except, as you may be able to make out from the fact that it's got a net on the top, it's under repairs right now. I'm just setting up one side here by escalators. And if you can make out back there, the stairways are actually lit up with lights. It's going to go up 11 or 13 stories beside the shopping mall, what's called the Cube. Mace, be careful. There's a window by that restaurant over there. When you come up here, Karasuma Square, the South Square, the South Promenade. You get a nice view when you get off the escalator here. You can go and watch the trains over there. And nice landscaping and some nice looking restaurants to go along with the pretty lights over here. And even though it is a little bit raining here, as the roof doesn't cover us at the moment, you can go up that escalator and then go along the length of the entire Wild Station. And when you get to the top, Skywalk is what it's called. All lit up. We've got some very cool views, as you can see, all the way down there to the train platform. But even more, you can just be able to look down and see all this intricate framework that makes up the inside of the station over here. And then there's open viewing sections here where you're not going to have any framework to look at and instead you can just look right out at that. Having crossed over to the other side now, there's the lit up stairway and the stories upon stories of escalators that will take you up to the top. There were already some restaurants there, and over on this side, people familiar with the Yokohama video will see that there was a ramen museum here, and here you can have a choice again from all over the country. These imitators have popped up everywhere, and that's to the benefit of everybody's stomach. And now I'm on the other side here, and there's the view. Glass reflecting everywhere, the massive stairs, rocky, how I do not envy thee here. 
That's that yellow platform I was pointing out before, and then the other, even more Star Wars-y ones that are over here on this side, and in the middle of that is where you actually go and get on trains. It seems like it's almost forgotten here in this crazy complex that's always going to be reflecting that tower. It'll look so much better with the net off. And just when you think you've gone as high as there is to go, there's still more to see over there. Glass windows are going to afford you with a fantastic view of the city, even if you can't go up the tower. You can go up over there. A very cute little garden. But I think the next thing for me is down here on the 11th floor. It's the restaurant row. So there you have it, everybody. Kyoto, city of old, station of new. Hope you have a chance to check it out here. Arrive by bullet train and go see all the sights. It's a perfect way for most tourists to begin their trip to Japan. Thanks for watching everybody. One Japan continues. See ya.